Number 19. Classify the following as acid-base reaction or an oxidation-reduction reaction. And then we have letter A. So basically all we have to do is just figure out if this equation is either an acid-base reaction or an oxidation-reduction reaction. Pretty simple, right? Now, there's a lot of different ways uh, that, you know, acid-base reactions differ from oxidation-reduction reactions. You've probably heard of that acid-base reactions, right? The, the main takeaway is that there's always an acid, right? And you have to add a base. And when they come together, they will always form a salt plus water, which is H2O, right? That's the general consensus of an acid-base reaction. However, I want to first point that out that this is not always the case, okay? Now, the quick inversion would just be looking at this and seeing if I have an acid, right, and a base, and am I re getting water at the end of the day? Now, you guys should know your acids, right? An acid has to have an H in the front. And HCl is a strong acid. So I do have an acid here, right? Okay, so it might be leaning towards an acid-base reaction. However, I don't see on the product side water as one of the two products. So you might say that it's an oxidation reduction reaction right off the bat because I don't have this type of reaction, even though I have an acid here. But the main difference, and this is how you guys should work it out, the main difference between an acid-base reaction and an oxidation uh, reduction reaction is that in oxidation reduction reactions, so I'll just put like an arrow here, oxidation reduction reactions, the oxidation states will change. So remember, the oxidation states are the charges, right? That's the main difference, and I'll say will change. In acid-base reactions, the oxidation states will never change. That way, if you set it up that way, you will always be able to determine which one is which. Do those oxidation states change, right? Do those charges change or do they not change? If they change, it's oxidation reduction. If they don't change, it's an acid-base. Now, what do I mean by oxidation states? The individual elements, when they formed a compound they should have had charges, right? And we've done plenty of uh, examples already dealing with how to find out these oxidation states. So if you just need a recap, just go back to a couple of questions earlier in this playlist, okay? But that's all that we're doing. It's just more practice finding out the charges of these compounds. So let's take it one compound at a time. Let's start off with Na2S and figure out what the oxidation state is for sodium, Na, and S. Now, uh, we've done tons of problems like this, so I'm going to kind of do the quick inversion here, right? Remember, you could always just crisscross the subscripts back up, right? So there was two sodiums, there was one sulfur, right? So the two told me that the sulfur was a negative two, right? And the negatives in the back because that's standard notation. The negatives are in the back and the positives are in the front, so in Na2S, it looked like sodium was a plus one charge and the sulfur was a minus two. So I'll just put, you know, up above here, maybe I'll put it down below here, plus one, minus two, plus one for sodium, minus two for sulfur. Now, let's see, let's see, you know, j just to, uh, you know, get in the groove of things, let's see if sodium's oxidation state changed. It was a plus one here. Let's see what it is over here. So now let's find out the oxidation states for NaCl. Now there's one sodium, right? One chlorine. Those are your subscripts. You'll crisscross them up. The one goes up to the chlorine saying that was a negative one. And then the one crisscross back up saying that the sodium was a plus one. So in this case, the sodium was a plus one and the chlorine was a minus one. So plus one, minus one. And look, did the sodiums change? No, 
They were both plus ones on the products and the reactant side. Okay. Now let's see, right? Uh, we could either find out the oxidation states for this compound, HCl, or for H2S. It really doesn't matter. Let's do HCl. Now notice how I don't care how many I have. I don't care that I have two HCLs. The compound is HCl. You will find the charges from there. So there's one hydrogen, one chlorine, right? The one crisscrosses up, telling me that the chlorine was a negative one. The one crisscrosses up, telling me that the hydrogen is a plus one. So my H was a plus one, and my Cl was a minus one. So maybe I'll say plus one, minus one. And let's see. Chlorine was a negative one, and it stayed a negative one. Hmm. So now let's just get some, you know, more practice in H2S. I have, let's see, two hydrogens, and then I have only one sulfur here, so that's my subscript that I will crisscross back up. This two told me that the sulfur was a minus two, and this one told me that the hydrogen was a plus one. So H was a plus one, the S was a negative two, so I'll put that over here, plus one, negative two. Let's see, did anything change? The hydrogen went from a plus one to a plus one, so that didn't change. And the sulfur as well, right? The sulfur was a negative 2 on the left-hand side, and it stayed a negative 2 on the right-hand side. Did any charges change? Absolutely not. In oxidation-reduction reactions, those charges will change from reactants to products. So since nothing changed, no elements changed their state, this had to have been a acid-base reaction. That's it. So just know that even though we didn't see plus water on the product side, it still was an acid-base reaction. That's why I don't really like to say anything about, you know, acid plays base equals salt plus water. Because uh, sometimes that's not the case. And in this case, it was an acid base, even though we didn't produce any water. Um, I just want to say, though, that... Always just check these charges with your trend on the periodic table. Now, we've done tons of problems, so I'm kind of saying that you guys know how to do it and that, you know, you trust that Na is a plus one. Well, you know, sodium was in group one, right? So it should be a plus one, okay? So just have that trend in the back of your mind. But other than that, that's all for this one, guys, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Click this video, click the video, subscribe or whatever, you know, like the video. <laughs> um, I hope this helped you out and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Take care.